What's up, Code Ninjas? So the whole reason we even started doing that UI Stack View course was uh, because we wanted to make something like this calculator. We have a whole bunch of these buttons uh, and we want them equally spaced. Uh, they're kind of like laid out. If we want to do this in any kind of, uh, like by just using constraints, there would be a ton of constraints here. We absolutely could do it, but it ends up just being a whole lot of work. Again, not impossible, but a whole, whole lot of work. And by doing it that way, if we did individual constraints, it also makes it more difficult when we start doing things like handling landscape or handling uh, like iPad screen sizes, something like that. So when I rotate this, for example, this is something we're going to learn. Uh, I, it actually has different size constraints. Notice that the, the buttons are no longer square. Um, and everything still fits on the screen. Simulator's weird, so it always does that. Uh, yeah, but then when it's when it's vertical like this, it looks good. Uh, and so part of the, as we're building this calculator, let's figure out exactly what we want it to do. So uh, obviously we have our basic operands like add, subtract, multiply, divide. So again, let's see what that looks like. So two plus two. So notice that when I, uh, hit this, it it actually I'm I'm highlighting that other color so that you know which which item I'm I'm going to do, uh, so or like which op operator. So instead of like maybe I don't want to do plus but I want to subtract, right? So I did I ended up doing two minus two uh, equals zero, or let's say two plus three. Notice how it's changing as I'm hitting that second one, uh, and then equals equals five. Let's say I do five times five, or let's say five times 56, and I go, oh, wait, actually, I still want to do five times something, but I don't want to do five times 56. So I can do a clear and just five times six. Notice that when I clear, the multiplication is still highlighted. So I did five times six equals 30. The all clear uh, is used to kind of forget everything. Um, it would it would forget what, oper what operator we're doing and uh, that five that we had clicked. So if I do like, five plus 98 and I do an all clear, this gets wiped and whatever number gets wiped. So if I do like a plus six, well, it's just zero plus six. I didn't do anything interesting there. I can also handle negative numbers. So now I have six here. So let's say negative six plus three, negative three. Okay, so we can handle um, like positive and negative numbers. 2.5 plus uh, 2.3 and 4.8. So we can handle decimal decimal places as well. Uh, let's say, oh, let me clear everything. Uh, one divided by two, obviously equals 0.5. We can get some big numbers as well. Uh, if we do like uh, one, or like big in the terms of like decimal places. So one divided by three, we got 0.3333 repeating, things like that. So this is the problem that, uh, this is the program we're gonna build. Uh, we're gonna go through it step by step. There's not even 150 lines of code that you have to write here. And the code that we're actually gonna write, a lot of it gets generated by Xcode anyway. And the code that we do end up writing is all pretty easy. Uh, so it looks, maybe it looks complicated when we first start it, but it's absolutely not. So uh, we're gonna get started in that next video.